And hello to you from one of the great football venues here in the USA. We're at Providence Park in Portland, Oregon. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you live action from MLS. It's the Portland Timbers, and they face Real Salt Lake. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Diego Cara, number seven, Andy Polo, number ten, Sebastian Blanco. This is the lineup for the home team. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. Well, 3 5 2 is a great system if you can get control of the midfield because your wing backs can then play higher up the pitch and the front two can combine as a pair, but they need to dominate that central area. Thank you for joining us today. Enjoy the match. And now they get the ball rolling. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Sebastian Blanco. A really vital interception. Well, we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today, Stuart? At the moment, he's playing with great confidence. Every time he gets the ball, he looks like he's going to score, as his record in recent times will suggest. Three goals in the last three games. He's been brilliant. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. <laughs> Taken short. An effective ball. Felipe Mora. Good movement. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. On to Herrera. Not showing good defensive judgment. Well, you can sense the threat is there. Jose Carlos van Rankin. Diego Chara. Well, he couldn't quite hit the target, Stuart. Well, it's a decent effort, but I don't think it was ever going to trouble the goalkeeper. Christian Paredes. Chara. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And space to cross it. Effective challenge.
Justin Merham who continues his run and a goal kick given another successful intervention winning the ball back Wasteful again in possession. Damir Krylach. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Could cross it in here. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Pulls it back. Splendid defending. Possession lost. Now with Ruiz. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Can he get them in front? Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. And the short option preferred. Holt. Holding the ball up here. Wait. Oh, crashes it against the woodwork. Well, I think from that distance, he should be scoring. At least test the goalkeeper. Bravo. Diego Chara. And he read it well, intercepting it. Well, as you can see, the visitors have controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes. You sense it's inevitable the goal will come. It'll be certainly no less than they deserve. They just need to be a bit more clinical in that final third now. Polo. And options in the center. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Diego Chara. Well, he'd be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. Justin Merham. Damir Krylach. Diego Valeri. Van Rankin, Paredes. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Christian Paredes. Chance to take the lead. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1 0 here. Well, as you can see, he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. to Ruiz Ruznak Everton Luis Justin Merham this could square the game oh big opportunity and he's fired it against the post And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game.
Well, he's been the standout for a side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, I'm sure the manager will be delighted with him. He'll have drilled it into them to keep their focus, keep playing through to the half-time whistle, and it's certainly put them in a good position to go on and win this now. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Valeri. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Chara. And Valeri. Valeri. Terrific save. Bravo. Now, let's see what they can do here. Has a go. Superb stop. <laughs> now, sending it in. It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident and not giving the opposition much of a look-in. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly, delivery into the box couldn't have been any better and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Second goal for them here. Playing with purpose and control. Opportunity. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Played over. It didn't happen for them. Well, there it is. The hosts haven't had that much of the ball, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. Could cross it in here. Couldn't keep it. Diego Valeri. Jose Carlos van Rankin. Chara. Well, moving the ball impressively here. Valeri. Could be troublesome. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, as you can see here, the build-up is patient, it's precise and penetrative, which opens up the opposition. But there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plum. It's a great goal.
all personalized beanie in team colors. The item of the game is available at all merchandise stands. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Albert Rusnak. Diego Chara. Bravo. Fluency of movement. Van Rankin. Chara. Diego Chara. How well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. This attack looks highly promising. Will he finish? Oh, another one for them. And with plenty of time still remaining, this game is very much back on. Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. The neutrals are getting their money's worth. 3-2 in this match. Substitution for Portland. Williamson. Coming off the pitch. I must say, this looks promising. Christian Paredes. Entering the match. Number 19. Diego Chara. Very comfortable when in possession. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Who can they pick out? It's an effective clearance. He's going forward well here. Jose Carlos van Rankin. Opportunity here. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. Holt. Ten minutes to go. Can they fashion something? They need a goal. This could level it, but denied by the keeper. And at this late stage of the proceedings, it could be highly significant. Well, it could be a huge moment, Derek. So little time left now. Felipe Mora. Can he find the net? Tremendous block. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Can they keep it going? Well, they've got players back quickly here. Crossing possibilities. It might be on for them. This could square the game. Oh, a goal! What a comeback! Who on earth could have predicted this? Well, here it is again, and it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. Substitution time it is. Well, they've restarted the game, and it's three apiece. Mabiala, Chara, Williamson, 
trying to get onto the front foot with the minutes ticking away. He cuts it back. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. And he could really get at the opposition. No well, possibilities in the centre. Opportunity! Oh, a goal! Can you believe what we're watching? It truly is a comeback and a half! Well, just look at this. It's a good finish and reward for their pressure. They really have controlled this game. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is they bounce back now and they can't afford a repeat performance.